what if this hole turns out to be the discovery hole, the new deposit? It was complete hubris on my part. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. We had one hole. It looked really Pretty good. Pretty good hole. Yeah. It was a good hole. Yeah. But he, nobody wanted to even see it. Nobody was interested. And it turned out, and I slated uh, a bunch of holes around that, and that was the beginning. We just started getting hit after hit after hit. And it turned out that first hole was right dead center and the best section. And it was just a gut instinct to look. I mean, there were surface geologic reasons for drilling it, but that was all surface geology. Why don't we straight start out straight ahead? No, 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 I gotta do it Okay, do it sequentially. Okay. Back side of that ridge is the old Nukai mine, to the right of the tower. Okay, it, you can't imagine it, but it drops off into a deep canyon on the other side. I remember that, yeah. That's the old Nukai mine. That was the original high grade, 17 gram, supposedly average underground mining. When I first got here in 94, the only thing going on, the only thing, they were doing an open pit, small open pit on that. That's all that was going on. So we came in, there was not a single road on any of the hills you see here, nothing. There was one access road low down, like on the level of those buildings right there. It just went from here, and it one straight simple road went all the way across to there. That was it, period, nothing more. None of those hills, there's no access to those hills. It's completely untrammeled. That ridge in the bottom of the valley, see how there's kind of a canyon, and in the middle yep. of it, there's like a ridge with the iron oxides on it. Mm -hmm. You gotta come over here to see that the iron oxides on it right there. Mm -hmm. Is um, that used to be a ridge? The bottom part of that ridge right there connected to the upper part of the ridge, the, everything in between has been mined out. <laughs> okay. That is the first thing I mapped, and we set up a drill program and we drilled. Uh, we drilled, I think, 25 holes and we proved up about 300,000 ounces. And that's a guida. So we found that. We were all excited Aguita. about Aguita, El Aguita. And we put the first roads up on top of that ridge. And you can see the difference in the foreground of the ridge. See all the iron oxides and the clay alteration? The, the white being the clay and the red being the iron oxides. That was all retrograded exoscar. It used to all be magnetite and it's completely retrograded. Uh, massive iron oxides and jasperoids and, and clay altered and truism, okay? Mm -hmm. High wall see it's kind of gray and green? Yep. That's gray and green because there's pro-grade endoscar and pyroxene dominated endoscar with a lot of sulfides in that high wall. So there's pro-grade serpentine magnetite dominated exoscar in that high wall, but it's all barren, completely barren. Like the stuff we were seeing today. At, at, at the very northern terminus of Los Filos and it was actually a mirror image like a nose of a the top of the intrusion coming down at us like this. And the other side of the hill was completely, there was nothing to be seen. You couldn't see anything at all. We could see nothing. This is all colluvium. So then we marched around. We started over there. And the first time we hit anything significant was underneath the thing that saved our project was right underneath that big, the highest hill. It was an area I picked out to drill based on surface mapping that I liked. Drilling like 150 meters and just two, over two grams in a hole that we didn't expect to hit anything mm -hmm. like that. We were amazed. To the right of the ridge in the valley, with all the roads on it, that, that ridge, I put the first roads and the holes into that. Well, I put the first holes in everywhere, pretty much, except in the Kai. But, the, but the, that has got big, 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 low-grade mineralization all the way everywhere under that ridge. We call it El Grande because it's a big area with 